Well, I've been I've been driving with I've been uh, working with hold, the company hold on, for hold quite on, some hold on, time. Hold on, so. hold on, hold on, work with hold on, hold on. We 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 about to do the intro. Let me let me do the intro. <laughs> All right, guys, what's going on? What's going on? Lockout Men back again with another Exposed MTC edition. Yeah, you guys like it when I do that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to know about these companies out here. Y'all be like, Lockout Men, yo, call this person, call that person, or or whoever you, whoever you see out there. We want to know about this company. We want to know about that company. Well, I ran into this young man that's still with the company and the company that we're about to talk about today is tyson foods what's going on brother man what's up what's up what's up with it doc uh i can't call it man i can't i can't, call, I can't it. call it man so i i i seen you uh at a at a fuel station and i, I i've seen uh i've seen the tyson truck and I, I see the phone number on the back of the truck all the time. I think I called that number one time before, but it, I never could I never could get through. So do me a favor. How to actually get through to Tyson to come on, I mean to come aboard with them. Got several options. You got Tysonfoods.com or Tysonfoods slash careers dot com. Mm -hmm. Either one of those websites, you can always uh, go on, and there are always linked new positions, always add new positions that's available right now. They are hiring for OTR, so this is a good time to look up the website mm -hmm. and see if, see if it's a position that you're looking forward to coming into and joining. All right. I joined... Uh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, I joined the company. I started off working in the plant, and uh, I worked for their plant for for years, and I decided to get my CDL and come drive for the company because, I mean, it's a great company. I, I have nothing nothing bad to say about the company at all. All right. So – Anybody – so you, so you, uh, so you, you, you was working, you was working for the company already, and then you just transitioned into into driving their, driving their trucks. Did they, did they pay for your, did they pay for your CDLs, or you went, you went, and got oh, your yeah. CDLs on your own? Oh no, they pay. They they do have tuition reimbursement, mm -hmm. so uh, they do pay up to five thousand back for your schooling. So uh, basically, they they paying for my school and they reimburse you every week, uh, and it continues on until they reach a five thousand max limit, which a lot of companies don't even offer that much for its uh, tuition reimbursement. That's like one of the top paid tuition. All right. So how they how they do the how they do your tuition reimbursement? They 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 give you a little something every week, every month. Oh, every week. Every week you'll see uh, they have a slot on your check stub that says tuition reimbursement. Mm -hmm. And and it gives you a little amount every week. And that's so on top of your miles and on top of your holiday pay and all of your per diems and all your little perks, you, you actually get an extra little money for your tuition reimbursement. Okay, okay. So what's up? So what's the, what's the, what's the process? So obviously you you transitioned you was already with the company so you just transitioned from from one position to the other how is it for a person for an outside person that's coming in uh did did you have to talk did you have to talk to a recruiter or you just went up oh, to yeah. your or or did you just went up to your boss and say hey you know i got my cdls i want to become a truck driver well, each one of each one of their position, each one of their comp uh, each one of their parts of that company is different. So you have to do whatever that part of the company requires. And I had to. It's basically my my seniority stage for my time with the company, but I had to do everything all over again. I had to go through. Um, I had to go through a recruiter. I had to be uh, scanned, screened, and. Uh, approved for the come over so 
it's not just like it, just because I worked with the company, I was able to come over. Now I had to go through the same thing as if if you was coming off the streets, you would have go through the same process that I went through. So okay. it's not just a quick transition. It it actually took several weeks for me to transition over. So, so you being but I did you you being that 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 you already with the company. Right. You you already uh-huh. with the company. Uh-huh. You already know the ins right. and outs. You 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 already know. So basically talking to the recruiter was was pretty much smooth on your part because you pretty much knew what was up before you even talked to the recruiter, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I by me working for the company, uh, I'm what what made me take, go to Tyson truck driving and not a, another company. I appreciated what they did for me while I worked in the plant. They take care of their workers. I mean, it's uh, it's not a stressful environment. I mean, it's like any other job, but for its pay and incentive pay and stuff like that, Tyson offers a lot of bonus benefits for their workers. Mm-hmm. So you get your hourly pay plus you get your what they call production production bonus for meeting so much production. Then they give you incentive pay coming through the plant. Like if you work the front forty hour work and you not miss a day, that was like an extra hundred and fifty dollar incentive bonus on your check. So they kinda took care of their workers. So that kind of they be like, I wonder how they do their drivers. And then I talked to some drivers and they were like, Man, I've been here twenty five years. It's like every driver I talk to, I've been here fifteen years, I've been here thirty years. I'm like, Can I retire? He's like, Man, I'm going to work till I can't work no more. So that was kind of like my motivation to say, well, maybe I need a job. Wait. Okay. 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 That was your motivation for doing it. All right. So, yeah. so talking to, talking to the recruiter, uh, what was, what was, what was the conversation between you and the recruiter? I'll say your normal questions. I mean, I wanted to know, uh, what, what the pay was, uh, my, my training, what I had to do for training, and they never promised me something that they didn't uphold. Everything that they told me during during my conversation with the recruiter, they have stood behind that 100%. Uh, I give them that. Most companies will tell you a lot of blah, blah, blah just to get you in the door, and then you end up getting, oh, well, that, that one will be meant. No, when they told me what they told me, that was exactly what took place. And I've been here for over a year now, and don't plan on going anywhere no time soon. How long you was with? How long you was with the plant on the plant side before you transitioned over to the uh, trucking side? Two and a half years. Oh, okay, so all together you've been with the company for three, three and a half years. All together, almost four years. Almost yeah, four years. Almost four years. All right. Yep. Uh, all right. So orientation is, is there orientation with, uh, with Tyson? Orientation is you get two wonderful meals. You get a, uh, you get a buffet breakfast style. They pay for room and board. They also feed you from Western Sizzling or Bonanza. Uh, it's located in Springdale, Arkansas. Uh, they apply, they, they do, uh, give transportation. So even if you don't have a ride there, they pay for you to come out. And they also have company cars that you can use like while you're there. So you're not just stuck sitting in one spot and all you're able to um, go to Walmart or if you need to go to get something to eat, they allow you to get the car for an hour and a half, two hours at a time. But that gives every driver a lot of time. Most times, most drivers doing the same thing. So you end up uh, catching a ride with the, with a the driver while he's out that way, that saves your time. You can just ride with him and y'all do stuff together. But for his, uh, orientation, it's like, uh, one week orientation. And then you go five weeks on, uh, over the road training. You do bag and skills. You do, you do your normal pre-tripping. You, if you haven't pre-tripped in a while, it's best to know the trip pre-trip and your trip planning because they are very keen on safety and knowing that pre-trip and post-trip and also trip planning, how to use the app. They go through a course with you on that. They teach you that. Uh, they also instruct you on if you use Qualcomm or whatever system that you use, they actually train you on their system. So 
So I they, mean, so they don't, have, so they, so they don't have a, so they don't use a Qualcomm system. No, no, we use what they call the PeopleNet system, which is totally different. We're similar but totally different from. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm familiar with PeopleNet. Yeah, PeopleNet is a, it's a, it's a great system. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, I hands down, I mean, it, it, it links you up. It has a lot of, lot of features with it, and. Uh, once you learn it, I mean, you'll never want to do Qualcomm or nothing else. People that's awesome. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I, I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I did. I, I started off with a with a driver tech system, which I wasn't very fond of, and then uh, I upgraded to uh, uh, Qualcomm, and I wasn't fond of that. And then when I then when I got into the PeopleNet system, I was like, "Oh man, this is this is gravy right here." This I'm, it, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this, 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 is, it. this <laughs> is it right here. And then now, yeah, you know, right. I'm like, I, I don't right. want, I don't want to turn back. All right, so hey, uh, if you don't have PeopleNet, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> so, or, so orientation. You say orientation lasts a week, but going out with a but going out with a trainer lasts five weeks. Yeah, yeah. Well, it all depends. Uh, most experienced drivers come out. If you got, I think it's three years, um, three years. Uh, uh, what do they say? How do they put it? Uh, where they can verify, verify three year verifiable mm-hmm. employment. Basically, three years verifiable experience. Oh, okay, then so you they, won't have to do that. So you so, won't have to do the five weeks. So are they looking? So the experience level that they're looking for, they 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 looking for three years or more, or three years and less. Oh, uh, they want you to have at least one year. Oh, okay. okay. If you have at least, if you have at least one year experience, you're good to go. But uh, if you have more, it's even better because it actually gives you it. It moves your pay scale up. Okay. So after one year, you're looking at probably like forty five cent coming through the door. But with, with three years, you're looking at probably maybe forty forty nine cent maybe a mile. So it gives you a little bit more. You know what I mean? The more experience gives you a little bit more pay. All right. So let's uh let's let's talk about so from so from orientation. Uh, do you know? Now let me ask you this: being that you already work for the company, uh. Did you go to how would did they send you to a different location uh to to go to orientation or was orientation at the same location where you worked at? No, it's a totally different location. It's your main terminal. I'm from a small town inside of Arkansas called Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people may not be familiar with that, but your training is actually in a in a town called Springdale, Arkansas, which is northern Arkansas, right off the Missouri border. Okay. So, how they how they get uh, you? How how would they get you there, or how they got you there, or it, did you drive? It, it's your choice. If you want them to rent you a car, they will rent you a car. You can pick it up and drive there. You can catch a bus. They will send you a plane ticket. It's your preference of comfortability. Whatever it is that makes you comfortable to get there. They have no problem compensating for that and paying for that to get you there. Okay. If so, you if you if they approve you and they interested in you, all you got to say is send me a ticket and that that's no question asked. Okay. Are you are you solo in a hotel or were you solo in a hotel? You had to or was it double bunk? Oh yeah, no sir. You solo. You your own man. You have your own room, king size bed, uh, satellite TV. Uh, refrigerator, uh, everything is nice. I mean, the hotel that they put you in is nice. Uh, mostly, it's a lot of Tyson drivers. They have a hotel that's allotted for so many Tyson drivers, and the hotel is is, is pretty nice. It's in the center of Springdale, so you're right across from Walmart, Walgreens. You're right by a bank. Uh, you have several restaurants right there in the little area. So uh, you don't do no double bunk. They don't. They don't believe in that, and they believe every person should have his own space and its own identity. So that's the good thing about it. When you come to orientation for them, okay. uh, I've heard of companies that does the double bunking, but that's kind of inconvenient for being in a room with somebody you don't know, right? 
and that you, you know what I mean, and and you're trying to be your man and they are they man, and they all might not be the same type of man. You exactly. know what I mean? So exactly. Yeah, uh, but they don't they don't do that. They don't believe in that. They believe in space. They believe in your own comfort, and that's one thing I love about the company. They it's all about you as a driver. They are a driver friendly company. Uh, if you have issues, it's all about communication. Uh, they, they logo is we are a Tyson family built on communication, and I love that. And they are they stand behind that one hundred percent. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, yes, so sir. what yes, sir. what what are the um? All right, so you so you go through the uh you go through the orientation. You talk to the recruiter now. Now, now they got you driving. What what type of what type of benefits they got there? What what benefits they offered you? Okay, um, coming coming out. Okay, by me, by me going to school and coming out of school with no experience, they offered me forty three cent a mile, mm-hmm. uh, and that's awesome for a beginner driver. Most beginner drivers, they maybe thirty cent. 35 cent at the max I've heard, but Tyson offers their beginner drivers 43 cent a mile. Uh, you get 43 cent a mile plus your per diem. You also get um, $130 um, holiday pay. Okay. Uh, for every holiday, you get paid holiday. Also, you get we get Christmas bonuses. Uh, we get quarterly bonuses for safety. So every three months, as long as you don't have no accidents or tickets. They give you they they rate your miles for how many miles you ran and they give you a check every quarter for that. So you that's an extra three to six hundred bucks every three months that that you get just for being safe. Okay. Uh, they reward safety. They're big on safety. Uh, also uh, for a four hundred one k, they match you one hundred percent up to three percent. After three percent, they match fifty percent up to seven percent, up to five percent, and as for as much as seven percent of your in, of, of your total gross income. So, okay, okay, that's they have they they have they have very good benefits. I mean, for the four hundred one k and the insurance package is like unbelievable. I'm hearing guys paying seventy five, one hundred fifty bucks a week for insurance. Man, uh, being honest with you, my my health, dental, vision, uh, life insurance, unforeseen circumstances, disability, all of that runs me about forty, about fifty four bucks a week, man. Okay, and this for and, and covers, this for a so, it, this for a solo, not a family, right? No, nah, this for this that's for a solo individual. That's okay. a single. That's a single person. That's not including my family. Okay. All right. Well, I, I, I have no kids. I'm single, so I don't have any kids. So it's just me. Oh, okay. You know okay. I mean? So, so what? The, so what? This but for? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, but for for uh, just to give you the perks on that for family, you can add your wife for additional five, fifteen bucks a week. So she'll get the same coverage, same benefit. Uh, plus, they got like an extra eighteen thousand dollar coverage, accidental death coverage on you. Uh, automatically, that that you don't even pay for. That just come from the company. Okay, that's uh, what's up. So, and another fifteen bucks. You, all that coverage can be on your wife or, or however, it's a fifteen bucks each additional family member. So that's not bad. Still. All right. So, so the you you said right now they're looking for OTR uh, drivers. Do they got any? Do they got any like? Like regional routes, solo routes, what, what, what other? Uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah. So somebody we have O T R. Go ahead. No, I was saying somebody that want to just do regional or something like that. Can is it is it available to them? Absolutely. If you're from the east 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 coast area, we have an east coast fleet, regional fleet uh, that runs the east coast and partially. Uh, some of the Midwest, then we have the Southern Fleet Regional Fleet. Uh, then we have the Texas Regional. Then we have the Arkansas Regional. So you have quite a few options for us regional. Uh, you have uh, which pays a lot different. Regional pays like fifty-one cent plus 
like thirty five for twenty five for every every time you drop and hook a trailer. Uh, and a lot of little perks I haven't really got into. The reason I can't, I don't want to lie to you or lie to the listeners about that. But I can tell you, you'll be coming in the door with reason making fifty fifty plus ten a mile plus an additional twenty five cent for I mean twenty five dollars for every time you hook and drop a trailer. Oh, okay. So you, and, so they, so they pay you for for dropping hooks. Yeah, yeah. With regional, you get paid for dropping hooks okay. every time you drop a trailer, or just sometimes you may have two stops. So just say you have two stops, so that's twenty five dollars, and then plus a thirty six dollar. So you get an extra thirty six dollars. So that's like an extra sixty bucks that you earn just for for making a sick uh, uh another stop, which which they call. A inconvenience fee, which they they pay you. Basically, your time is not wasted with this company ever. Okay. Your time, every time that you out here, every time that you spend making moves in this truck, as long as this truck is moving, you're getting compensated for it to the max. All right, man. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. we do have layover pay. We have layover pay, uh, but we don't have detention pay. Uh, that's a different Ooh. layover pay because a lot of our a lot of a lot of our loads are plant to plants, or that's what I was about. Like, to, uh, I was about to ask you that too. Is it uh is is the loads? Uh, do you guys do like is it if if you do live lo- uh not live loads but if you do uh dropping hook loads so it is from plant to plant and the trailer is already ready. Do you guys actually do live loads or live unloads? Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We absolutely we do that as well, and that's where the layover pay comes in. Sometimes you might get there, and they might not load you, so it's a hundred dollars for layover pay. If you earn a hundred dollars on top of your mile, so you're not losing no time at all. So why not detention? Why not? Well, what's the average? What's the average time on on a live load with Tyson or a live unload? Um. Uh, one and a half to two and a half hours. Oh, okay, so that's that's about the average time. We we, we ain't seeing no no six, eight, ten hour uh uh detention. Oh no, no sir, no sir. Oh, you, okay. uh, most most times when you when you got a live load, once you long as you make it there on your scheduled time, they putting you in the dock, they loading you out, you getting paperwork, filling you up, and you on your way. You can you you might take your thirty minute break while you're there waiting, and once your thirty minute break over, you're probably fully loaded and ready to roll, Doc. Okay, that's what's up. All right, all right. So what? Uh, so how how it? What's the culture there like? What's what's the uh what's the what's what's the uh I guess what's the relationship between you you and the fleet manager there? Awesome, bro. Awesome. We actually they actually. Uh, they they make it a practice of having quarterly meetings, like uh, where you get they call and put everybody on what they call a group meeting. Everybody's on one call, and if you have any questions or any type of thing, you have his you have his personal you have his number to his personal line. You have himself uh, his email address, and you also have people there. So. It's a lot of different options to be able to contact the fleet manager at all times if you have any type of problem, any time of the night. So just say I'm on the road two in the morning. And my old lady called me and say, "Hey, baby, I need you home. It's an emergency." I can shoot him an email and say, "Hey, man, I need to get home uh, within a matter of minutes or maybe an hour." So you will get a response back saying, "We we got you. We got your notification. We have routed you home." We send it to you on people net. So uh hope everything is well. If you need if anything Tyson can do for you, please notify us so that we can reach out and help you and your family. Okay. Be safe and I mean I mean when I say they they keen on Tyson as a family, we communicate as a family, they are really about that. Okay, that's what's up. Absolutely. So what's up with so what about um what about home time with with uh with Tyson? Was 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 being that you OTR, uh do do they require you to stay out a certain a certain length of time before you go home or can you go home anytime you want? 
Can you go home every week? What's uh, how they uh how's the home time there? I'm going to say this. If you want to go home every week, they gladly get you that home every week. But you're not really making no money. Mm. Uh, like, for okay. instance, me, I stay out like I stay out like six weeks to two months at a time, and that's my choice. Uh, but the minute I put in my home time, like today's my home time, I'm actually in route home. Okay. Uh, I, I actually be home today, so I'll probably make it home about maybe 1 o'clock this afternoon. So... And that's 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 awesome. They have a twenty four hour window. They say if you unless you need to be home on the eighteenth, then put your time in for the seventeenth. I just wanted to be go home on the eighteenth. Okay. It wasn't so they so they so they, so they do it that way because I was about to ask yeah. like, yo, I, I, I wanna be home or I wanna go home on the eighteenth. So they'll come back to you like, wait. You want to be home on the are 18th you, are, or are you, you going home yeah. on the 18th? Right, yeah, I, right, I had that, right, I had that right. issue. I had that yeah. issue with uh, with my previous companies. And I, I, yeah. I kept telling them, like, well, look, let me put it to you this way. I want to wake up in my bed on the 18th. <laughs> and, <laughs> so. and believe it or not, with, with them, brother, you will be in your bed and woke on the 18th if that's what you want. They okay. always act. Ask that if you want to be home on that day or you have to be home on that day, then put your time in for the day before. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That way they can get you. That way they get you home between that that the day before that morning to that evening. Like I say, around one, no later than five o'clock, you'll be at home the day before. Okay, that's so what's... that way you can rest up and the next morning you'll sleep at you'll be at home sleep when you wake up the 18th. You'll be at home. Now. All right, absolutely. That's, that's what's up, man. I like they that. don't they don't pressure that they do not pressure their drivers. Only thing they ask is if you need to be home a certain day, communicate with us and let us know. Give us a seven day window so we can start trip planning and routing you because you may end up on the East Coast and you need to be home in a day or two. Okay, oh. everybody knows it's, it's fifteen hundred miles between Arkansas or just say I live in Arkansas. It's probably about. Fifteen to eighteen hundred miles between Arkansas and New York. Okay. Okay. So, all right, I want to be home in three days. Well, I know it's going to take me three days to get out there, so they're not going to send me there. They're going to keep me close within maybe four or five hundred mile radius. Still allow me to get miles, accumulate miles, but they're not going to send me out there. But if I'm already out there and I need to be home in two three days. That's match. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna make sure that they route you that way to where you drop a load at your house. Like they, I have a plan at home where I live at, so it's easy for them to route me to a, a load straight to my plan. So it's cool like that. Okay, I love it. What about the now? The, the, are you since they route you home, so you're able to take the truck home? Absolutely, your truck is your truck. Oh. Uh, once they assign you your truck, you are responsible for that truck. I am in a 2021 Kenworth T680. It is a wonderful truck. Uh, I mean, we do have APU units, so you we, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, when your truck, shut your truck down, put your APU on, let your AC blast. Uh, you, it do come with a refrigerator. Uh, you do have closet space. I mean, it's it's when I say it's a nice truck, and most of our trucks are not going to be under three years. So this is a 2021. So right now, most of our drivers are in a 2019 to a 2021 truck. Oh, okay. What's the uh, what's the um, what's the uh, governing? What what's it governing that? Sixty eight. Sixty eight. Okay, that's pretty uh that's, yes, sir. Pretty, that's pretty good. Any uh any can you guys run the turnpikes? Absolutely. We have free pass system. So what we call elite pass. So anytime you're on a turnpike or you're going through tolls, you don't have to stop. They want you to keep running. They want you to be able to run. So everything is already pre pass selected. All you do is get in the easy pass lane and keep on rolling. Uh, okay, okay. What about cameras? Is it cameras in the truck? Forward facing. 
Okay. Uh, we have the Bendix system. We operate the Bendix system. No cameras are pointed directly at you, so you still have your privacy. It is more for your protection in case of an accident. Oh, okay. So, and they're they're only triggered when you. Uh, we have sensors. Like I can go on the side of the road. You might hear a noise. Okay, you hear the little. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's we, Yeah, we have sensors all the way around this truck. Uh, forward facing sensors. Mm-hmm. Side facing sensors. So if somebody come up in your blind spot, a lot of times that's where most accidents happen. Your blind spot. Mm-hmm. Well, we have a sensor there. So when somebody comes up on your blind spot, it it lets you know like beep beep beep, somebody over there. Oh, so okay. it gives you a, awareness to kind of take a look if you're not already looking, but kind of take a look and see what's going on in that area. But it has a lot of good features. Um, another feature that I like, just say. You you coming up on uh you coming up on a curve mm-hmm. and you're not you're not judging the curve too good you go you rolling pretty fast but the curve ended up a little deeper than what you thought mm-hmm. well the truck actually and it actually gauges the, the depth of the curve and it actually makes the speed adjustments for you so it slows the truck down so that the truck don't have what it have what they call rollover protection on it okay. So, I mean, when I say they, they have top of the line, their trucks are top of the line with features, You will, it, it's top of the line with features. All right. So let me ask you this last question before we get on up out of here. I'm, I'm, reading, the, I'm reading the website, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this one uh, excerpt right here. It says, Excellent Stock Purchase Program. Can you go into that a little bit? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have a option to... Like I do purchase stock every week. You can allot uh, as much as you want to go towards stock purchase. They, you got to think about Tyson is a company that grow, process, and ship their own product. They have bought into several companies like Hillshire, Sara Lee, St. Pierre, Advanced Pierre Foods. So they are a company that produces a lot of product. So they give you the option to buy stock into the company, thereby constantly generating money. So while you even home, your stocks are still earning you money. Okay. okay. So, yeah, I mean, you can put as much as you want into it. Uh, as less as I think the the minimum is like twenty five bucks stock purchase mm-hmm. uh, to buy into the stock. But I mean, you won't miss twenty five fifty bucks out of the check. I guarantee you. And another perk, you guarantee twenty six to three thousand miles if you want to run. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right. Hey, do do Tyson um do Tyson hauls any other freight other than their own? Absolutely. They will like a lot of times you we don't have many plants on the East Coast, uh New York area. So you can you might end up grabbing some ice cream or something like that. So they will get you some loads from, from out that way. Uh, you might end up grabbing some, uh, but I grabbed some ice cream before and some other product that I had grabbed from out there. But yeah, we will haul other products. Absolutely. Uh, okay. That's what's anything up. to keep the driver moving. Okay. That is what's up, man. Well, hey, man, thank you very much for coming on and uh, chopping it up with me about uh, Tyson Foods, man. Uh, sound like sound like this is a this is a a, a go to company like Walmart or Absolutely. or FedEx or some shit like that, man. I mean, now that you say that, bro, believe it or not, uh, Walmart is like they say Walmart is even even. Our company would say Walmart is a good company, mm-hmm. but if, if you don't, if you miss Walmart, then Tyson would be the number two go-to team to join, bro. Right. Absolutely. So you, you yourself, you, you will actually uh, suggest Tyson for uh, for new people. I would, re- <laughs> I would not only suggest it, but I would recommend it for any new driver that's coming out here that's trying to join the truck driving family. Uh, give Tyson a call, man. Give Tyson the opportunity to show you what it is to feel and drive for a good company with good benefits that's going to give you the miles and also respect your home time. 
A lot of drivers don't get this home time respected, but I promise you here at the Tyson family, we will respect you as a driver. That we is, are driver friendly. That is what's up, man. So Tyson, there you guys have it. Let me start it over. Tyson, there you guys have it. Tyson Foods, Tyson <laughs> Truck Driver. Yes, sir. Yo, go to yes, uh sir. go to drive for Tyson Foods. Dot com or you can give them a call at 833-934-2084. They uh they have a competitive package, flexible home time. They have a group health plan, uh basic life and disability insurance. Uh they got OTR opportunities as well as regional. They got the stop purchase program, the 401k with 3% match. Nine paid holidays and vacation. And of course, their trucks is at 68 miles per hour. So if you guys want to get up with Tyson, definitely give them a call. I do appreciate this young man coming on, talking to me about Tyson. Hopefully that'll make uh, make you guys want to get there. If you guys want to come on and talk to me and chop it up with me on anything, Tyson, uh, trucking company or whatever, Hit me up at lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com or you can call me 216-600-2090 or you can hit me up in the uh, Instagram. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button for more content like this. Yo, that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys listening. And until the next time, I get at you guys with another video. We are gone. All right, brother. Be safe.